Air Force. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Rice's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Quick throw out to the receiver. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 23. hit and taken down. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Booming kick. <laughs> and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Not a bad return. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Makes it out to about the 49. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yardage. From the 49-yard line, first down. Here we go. And they'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Yardage on that run. Game of six that makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. Three yards to get the first here on second down. Here we go. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Falcons. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 66-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Sends it sailing downfield. Got the corner. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Air Force has really got things working right now. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down at the 32. Second 
tackled after a decent pickup. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Five wide. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. Call it a game. Wants to go long and does. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 15-yard line, it's first down. Air Force up seven points. Tackle around the 17-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. First and 10, ball on their own 41. Makes it up the middle for a nice run. We've got a close game. The Falcons lead 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Air Force is up a score. Ready! Red 18! Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Six yards there on the option keeper. And, and this play is number eight on the drive. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it 31. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go! He fights forwards about the 13. Call it a game of one yard. 
That makes it fourth and inches. Four down, four down. 57 the right. Watch 57. Here we go. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. He's taken down at the two. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Check 37, check 37. Watch the Defense and their short Pass. yardage package. Ready! Ride 68! Ride 68! And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Four down, four down. Air Force is up by a touchdown. Set, white, 80. White, 80. He's got a touchdown. So they go to the end. They come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I gotta tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Brought down the 21-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings us third and ten. They finally push him out at the 47. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. Hands it to the back, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes it second and ten. Gives it up the gut. Gets to about the 47-yard line. He's under pressure. He's going to air it long. That close to being intercepted. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Falcons are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. He's going to try and scramble. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Let's get the seven. Double, 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 double. I got 
two, Ready. Eight. two. Green 88. Here we go. Green 88. Check, check. Omaha, Omaha. Him hard at the 35. From their own 35 yard line. First down. Ready. Green on the And he tackles him hard at the 43 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. hit before it can go anywhere. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look before this one even started. Once and all, going deep. And he holds in the deep pass. The 10. Make it two TD catches now. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he hits the PAT. So that's a six-play, 80-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now... 21-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls have really got some work to do, I think, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively, as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line, when your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here's the pass, broken up. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. Boy, I tell you, it takes some real skill to kill the ball that close to the goal line. Great job by the punter. Taking the field again now is the offense, and I gotta tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Coaches get big contracts for winning championships. But, you know, I think maybe they really earned their money in a game like this. When you see a team perform like this, leave no doubt, and look like uh, look like that they're playing to the level that they're capable of playing. Yeah, and, and a lot of times, these are the games that cost you championships. If you don't take care of them, sometimes you come out flat, you see the big upset down the road, you're comparing losses, and, and you're out of the mix because you lost to a team that you should have absolutely annihilated. So definitely kudos to the coaching staff for keeping everybody stepping in unison, keeping everybody on the same page, keeping everybody motivated. It's not easy. These are still 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that 
sometimes lose focus. Believe it or not, there are girls in class and other things for them to for them to focus on. So great job by the coaching staff getting their boys ready to play. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the line. Here's the line. Third two, third two. Let's go. Green in the eight. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short gain. He fights forward to about the 46. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down around the 28 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings us second From the 28 yard line. Second down. Here we go. Setting up play action. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 18 yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice run there. That brings us second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 13. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Ready! Check, check! Ready! 
Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. We've watched this guy play. And over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Air Force. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 14 play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Air Force is a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Steps out of bounds around the 42-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. A great tackle at the 49 yard line. Game of the He's on the run. Echo at the 48. Get the first. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. So with one quarter remaining, Air Force leads it 28-0. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully, the fourth quarter will turn things around. Air Force up big right now in this one. And down he goes at the four-yard line. No game. That brings up second and goal. From the four-yard line, second down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! And he's level at the six-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That makes it third and goal. Over the middle, got it to the halfback. Touchdown. He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. Tacks on the extra point with a three-play, four-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
and they can forget about returning this one. The Falcons have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Throws it in a hurry. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. To go. And they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. He gets rid of this one. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 30. The Falcons came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Tackled after a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Five, 68. Five. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. it to the 47. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled right around midfield. And really, this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.